Hello again guys, welcome back to my channel, Kojiro from Gaming in Japan here and in this video I will be showing you how I was able to kill the Queen's Knight boss in the Cold Veins uh, demo in Death with only 11th level character, you can see it right now on your uh, screen, 11th level, without assist, with the bayonet weapon and with the asset uh, blood code or class, uh, in this game classes are called blood codes. So now we are going to see the battle and I'm going to comment it for you. So uh, as you can see I don't have a lot of health and this get, this boss can kill me with uh, literally two hits. So the asset uh, blood cult or class allows you to use... Uh, okay here was a, a parry but you don't uh, get a critical from the parry when you fight against the bosses. Or at least against the bosses that I was able to fight with. I don't know what's gonna happen further in the game, of course. But uh, as I was saying, this uh, blood coat or this class has a lot of range attacks with electricity, but not all of them are very good. But uh, the one with uh, R2 and X, uh, as you can see in the shortcuts in the bottom right uh, portion of the screen is very fast and uh, is uh, very useful because uh, you just shoot a straight up projectile. Okay, so the boss now goes into his second form. Now, one of the most important aspects in these fights is the amount of I-Core or uh, magic power or uh, skill points uh, that can be used in the battle that you recover from hit. So now you can see the number of uh, 29 on, again on the bottom right portion of the screen so when I hit the opponent a couple of times with uh, this weapon I recover a little bit of uh, magic power or eye color but uh, in this form I recover much less so uh, the eye core is going to eventually run out and then uh, you have no cho uh, choice of but uh, to recover it with an item or uh, with another uh, consumable item that I'm going to use. It uh, allows you to recover more uh, Iker with hits. It's called Drain Activator. I'm going to use one of the Iker capsules to recover some Iker and then I'm going to use the activator to allow for more recovery of Iker on hit. This attack is very tricky, it uh, has a cross uh, shaped uh, like a ground AOE effect. Okay, so I use the capsule here, I'm going to use uh, more of the electricity projectile. As you can see this time around I only uh, do around 600 damage on him and uh, in the first form I was able to do around 800 so there is a uh, uh, the case of the focus state, the opponents and uh, your character can go into focus state. Uh, from time to time you're going to see this uh, blue aura around your character. And this allows you to um, recover... Okay, here I use the drain activator. It allows you to recover uh, stamina instantly. This is the most important aspect. and. Uh, you get additional launch attack uh, that probably wouldn't work on the bosses, so I didn't even try it here. And uh, you are harder to stagger, but I, now I'm aiming for no hit uh, battle, so uh, this doesn't really concern me very much because this is a non hit uh, boss battle. So, as you're going to see right now, Okay, this is the focus state and you probably just saw how my uh, stamina recovered instantly. This is very important because in the middle of the battle you can just recover and start moving freely. And uh, with this blood veil or uh, armor I can uh, use uh, this uh, quick uh, evasion movement with the, with the blue after effect. And uh, yeah, this was this was the battle. As you can see, it was a no-hit battle on 11th level without any support uh, characters. With the bayonet weapon, I only used the two uh, items for Iker recovery, and uh, I uh, used the asset blood coat. I don't think this is the best uh, blood coat for boss battles or for regular progression in the game. 
but uh, I wanted to try it because I never really uh, tried it in the closed beta. It was for only a limited time. This is the night claw uh, that allows me to do a quick movements. You can see 11th level. And uh, I just wanted to uh, try out the skills in this uh, blood coat. It's cool because you can uh, change your weapons uh, in the game. And if you're quick enough uh, with the mains, you can also change your blood coat uh, in the midst of the battle. There is no pause uh, there, of course. So uh, I absolutely love uh, the game. Uh, the demo version is absolutely the same as was uh, the closed uh, beta. And uh, I advise you to try it out. Uh, the full game comes out on the 27th of September for PS4, PC and Xbox One. If you have any questions in regards to this game, you can ask them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys. I wish you a happy day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!